Hey, this is Kicking It With Jason. I'm stuck here in traffic. I'm headed home from SoCal. I stopped at Ventura. I, I came down here Sunday. Today's uh, Monday. I, I came down here Sunday yesterday for a quick trip. Hung out with Christine and Daryl. Hung out with my brother. Just came from the car shop. Got some cards graded at Burbank Sports Card Shop. Great shop. Saw Susie and her boyfriend Pax in there. We got some Portos. First time eating Portos. Took a bite of the pastry. Really good. Um, even got my homie Myra, who I also trained, got her some portos too. So, Myra, if you're watching this, you got portos on the way, coming all the way from LA or Burbank. I guess they have several, several bakery shops. But um, yeah, this is a good time to get in the podcast. As I'm here in traffic, it's moving really slow, going through the grapevine. Um, and I guess I'll just, uh, I, I, I want to do more kickboxing episodes. So, you know, this would be a good one to do. Um, what I like about how I run my kickboxing class, mind you, it's uh, we've been in COVID, so or in quarantine and COVID and everything. I haven't been able to run my group kickboxing classes, but I just want to recap on how I did run my kickboxing classes, the atmosphere, the setup, the system, the workouts, um, the music, everything. So here's here's how my kickboxing class goes. It's an hour workout. We warm up for about. Uh, 10 11 minutes great warm-up you know keep it simple get the blood flowing muscle stretched uh joints loose all that and then um what i do is i run um uh a round or three rounds four stations three rounds four stations of workouts so in the room all right it's like a rectangle room if you're in a rectangle room in the back is the first station you know that's a set of exercises the second station you step forward is a row of kickboxing class or kickboxing bags about three to four bags you know i give out a kickboxing um combo you step forward on the third station is another weight workout some kind of body workout and on the fourth station you step forward and you have um another kickboxing um station and the each station is 30 seconds and you rotate um after that 30 seconds of course you go to the next station and for three rounds right so it's a great workout it's mixed up really really well um i love the feedback that i got from christine and daryl who um they uh they are a part of another gym right now because they moved down to socal and they're doing a muay thai workout outside so you know they're just staying fit they're staying active and um they have a, a pretty stern teacher they're just getting used to the 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 atmosphere and the clientele but one thing that they that they did say that they liked about my about my class and about the Christ school at Dumas mm-hmm. Academy is that everybody was friendly everybody was welcoming it was such a welcoming vibe and people wanted to talk to you people wanted to say hi it wasn't so clicky as um, they feel at their current gym and um, I think that's important I think that that atmosphere and that um, that uh, culture comes from the person that's running the show right it starts from the person who's instructing the ownership all that and at our school like it, it's very um, diverse Latinos uh, blacks whites um, Asians like there's there's several different ethnicities in the Bay Area which is makes the Bay Area so awesome but that's one of the cool things about my class outside of the workout outside of the stations outside of kicking and lifting dumbbells is the diversity and you know who i am as as a trainer um i make sure that i bring a correct energy a correct um approach to you know how the culture is how the atmosphere and i always want everybody to feel welcomed i want people to walk in feeling welcome i want people to walk in, walking away always wanting more always enjoying the experience that's 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 very important so you know when i whenever it's a new person or it's a person that's been there for their fifth year sixth year every day that they walk in i always want them to feel welcomed i always want them to come back wanting more and um uh anybody else that does walk in you know they want they want to feel that too from the people that are also training and um i so i'm so happy that christine and daryl felt that felt that way who you know they trained with me for about over a year but they got that energy they got that vibe um uh from training in my class i thought that was like that makes me feel really good but so the way I, yeah so the way I do train I do that those rotations and um, you know uh, I love I love the kickboxing style I love 
uh, helping people hit the bag, sweat, teaching them a skill, helping them, um, you know, learn the roundhouse, get better with the jab crosses, the jab cross hooks, uppercuts, all those good things. It's such a powerful workout. It's so stress relieving. It's fun. You sweat. Heart rate goes up. Sweaty t-shirt. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you're an advanced beginner, um, if you're a person that's been working out um, hardcore for years, or you're a person that's just getting back to the swing of things, my class helps address and helps every person excel at the level that they need to for their workout, for their own personal workout. So, you know, it is a group class, but they walk in, or, or, or it's a, it is a group class, but um, they always feel that they got the workout that they needed for themselves. They didn't feel, you know, they don't feel like they're being compared to anybody. They, they don't feel like they're being over pushed. They don't feel like they're doing something that um, is way um, out of their league. But, you know, uh, as a trainer, you have to be an orchestra to the class. You have to read the class, um, make sure, you know, this person who who is capable of doing this many reps is doing those reps. This person that's capable of lifting this weight is lifting that weight. Uh, making sure people aren't holding themselves back and just reminding people that if you do have to take a rest or you have to modify a workout, um, then, you know, definitely do that. Definitely, uh, uh, you know, switch things up if, if need be. And all those things are addressed in class. All those things is what makes a good class is that everybody is winning in their own way. Um, everybody's winning to the best of their ability and everybody's pushed to their ability. Um, you know, it's the same workout, but how each person goes through that workout is going to be different. At the end of the day, at the end of the workout, at the end of the hour, the only thing that's important is that they have fun. They, had, they got challenged. Um, they learned some new stuff and, you know, they felt like it was worth it. Their time was worth it. They want to tell people about it and they want to come back and do it again. They get hungry for it. They get addicted to it. Um, they, they constantly want to do it over and over and over. So I, uh, I remember I was talking to um, Adam on my, on my podcast, friend Adam, um, and he was telling me, he's like, man, you know, for a guy that doesn't do kickboxing, you know, watching your videos, it's pretty intriguing. It's pretty interesting. Like, you know, like I, I watch your videos. I'm saying, I mean, I'm saying that's good content. I'm, I'm watching it. And I'm really interested in how kickboxing is. So, you know, when people are watching my videos of kickboxing, that's what I love to see is that people see a group of people having a good time, having fun. Um, a group of people that um, are 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 pushing themselves and uh, being challenged. Um, you know, like I, 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 I'm always curious of what's going on in the minds of people as they scroll through my content. And you know, when it, my kickboxing video comes up, that's what I hope. I hope people look at it and they say, "Wow, that class looks so fun! I want to do that." And it's not, it's not because you know it's going to lead me to customers or business. It's just, it's just, it's just good to know that I'm doing something good. I'm building something good. I'm building something that's strong because I want to turn this group class into a company. I want to turn it into a brand. I want to turn it into a, a whole gym at some point, which um, I'm very confident uh, in believing that I can do it. I'm very, uh, very, you know, focused and um, getting more pulled and gravitating towards opening a gym. Just thinking about location. I've been talking about it more, uh, being more vocal about it, looking at things, reading about things. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely know I can run a kickboxing gym. I definitely know it could be a place where people come and, and enjoy themselves and feel like they, um, you know, like like they want to make that part of their world. They want to make that part of their day. They want to make that a part of their lifestyle. And um, you know, I always thought like, cause when I I, I run class, uh, I was running class on Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings for a long time. It was just Saturday mornings that I was doing the group class, but. I thought it was always so special and it says a lot when, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14, um, even, you know, up to 16 people would wake up and say, even though it's eight o'clock in the morning, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to drive over to go work out. Like that says a lot on a day that they could be sleeping in on a day where it's uh, a Saturday where people are, are, are have their day off and they can go play and things like that. They actually say, this workout is worth waking up and you know doing something from 8 30 to 9 30 for my health that i can put my money to i put my time to and i want to do it again next saturday so 
Um, yeah, it's been all interesting. All these things playing into my head. And, and also, the music. Um, having a good class, you have to have a good workout. You have to be a good coach. But so much behind that and a good, I would call it a wingman to the workout. <laughs> a good aid, a good sidekick to the workout is having great music, a good playlist. The music playlist cannot be bunk. It has to be good. It has to, like I mix it up, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, today's music, techno, hip hop, pop, classic rock, um, uh, some cool uh, R&B kind of style music in there. Like I really know how to mix it up well. Uh, famous people and non-famous artists, people that are still making music in their mom's basement. I have my friend's music on there. I have good music on there. People singing, people rapping, just instrumentals, um, all those things. Uh, weird kind of beats that just work well for a workout, that, that the beat plays to the heart the heart rate. Um, you know, something that's, that's fun, upbeat. It's like you want to walk into a, a workout and you want to feel the ambiance of the music. You want to feel the vibe of the music. It, you know, it's like just like a club. You walk into a club, um, before you even start dancing, you're already your ears go straight to the music. How's the music sounding? How's the music sounding? You know, you get your drink and then you hit the dance floor. You're already feeling good based on how the music is playing. It's the same thing um, when I'm te when I'm when I'm doing my classes. My playlist is is important. You know, I spend time on that. I put a lot of a lot of music on there. I have over like a thousand songs or something. Um, I, I think, yeah, I got to double check. I think I have a thousand songs. I have like so many songs I haven't even put on there yet that I need to. Um, you know, I have all these screenshots on my phone of songs I need to download, go back, check out this artist. And um, yeah, take your playlist serious. Take it super serious. Um, because one of the compliments I get is not only that my workout is cool, but the music playlist is cool. The music playlist is on point. It's unique. Um, I can almost guarantee, I can guarantee Nobody has the songs that I have on my playlist. Uh, there's no gym you'll walk into and you just get the same kind of reaction to the playlist as I do. And um, that's because I care. That's because I put time into it. I think about the ear of my um, my students, of people walking in, um, of people watching the video on on Instagram. I, I, I think about all those things. I think about, I, I mean, I'm telling you, I really do care. That's why I have 70s music on my playlist, I mean, cause yeah, I like 70s, but I really will go in and search for a good 70s beat. Like, I have a Barry White song on there. I don't have Barry White singing, but I cut it off to where uh, the instrumental of that beat, or of that song, I forget what song it is, but it works, man. I'm like, dang, that's a good beat. And when people are working out, it works so good. It works so good. And then you can tell off. You can do, you know, you can, if you have enough songs, you can do 10 minutes of 70s, 10 minutes of 80s, 10 minutes of 90s, 10 minutes of 2000s. To, to, you know, you can really mix it up really well. I haven't done that yet. That's just another way to bring a unique experience to the class. Uh, but yeah, it, and when you play when you play 80s music and 90s music, people that are in their 40s. That you know, they're like, oh yeah, that reminds me of my middle school, high school days. I remember that when I was a kid. I remember that. I remember uh, getting ready for school to that song. I remember dancing that song at the school dance. I remember listening to that song with my, my my sister. You know, we were in our room just chilling, hanging out. Those things right there. The memories, the experience, um, the way it play, plays to the psychology, uh, the way it gets people to reminisce, reminisce to happy times in their life, and you know that the happiness feeling of that time in their life combined with the happy feeling of the endorphins of working out. Oh man, you got a, a cool formula, cool some cool chemical things happening in the body that um, that 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 is special and shouldn't be taken lightly so there's like there's some some mental things that go on behind the scenes and some some of the hard work goes behind on behind the scenes of my kickboxing class that makes my kickboxing class what it is and um you know when i really put some firepower behind marketing and advertising it and and really get going on uh getting a gym and a space to really uh make that dream flourish i think i i think i can do great things and create a good team and it really help people make a money in a career in kickboxing and fitness and enjoy teaching teaching a class like that and uh yeah i really do i really believe it can do well um so if you have any questions about kickboxing uh tweet me instagram me facebook me i'll be happy to chat you know about how you do your kickboxing classes 
what kind of kickboxing workouts have you done what feedback do you have on what you've seen from my classes or you know if i do train you are in my kickboxing class let me know some some testimonials of yours uh, i would highly appreciate it thank you for listening